Everybody ready? Ready. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us again today. I'm County Executive Laura Curran. I'm joined by Deputy County Executive for Public Safety Tatum Fox, Police Commissioner Patrick Ryder, Deputy County Executive for Parks and Public Works Brian Schneider. We also have Deputy Commissioner for Public Works Bill Nimmo. Acting Commissioner for the Office of Emergency Management, Joe Tremarkey, and Superintendent of Highways, Joe, uh, Mike, sorry, Mike Fasano. First, I want to thank the Governor and his whole state team for being ready to assist us in any way that we need. We're grateful for the help. Uh, and I want to tell everyone, please don't be fooled. This is a powerful storm and we have not seen the worst of it yet. We are still predicting 8 to, 10, uh, 8 to 12 inches of snow here in Nassau County by the time the storm passes well after dark tonight. And with wind gusts, gusts up to 45 miles per hour, we are still concerned about near whiteout conditions on the roads. This combination will make for dangerous travel throughout the evening, so as always we are urging extreme caution if you have to travel. Our DPW is out in four storm, storm response. They've been out since 7 this morning and all plows and salt trucks are out on the roads. We've got 88 snow and salt trucks, nine pickups, seven payloaders, and 160 men and women who work for the county responding to this latest storm. We've got over 1,500 lane miles to cover, and our men and women, our DPW crews, are working diligently to keep the roads clear and safe. As you can see behind me to my right, the GPS shows where all our plow trucks are currently and to the left shows the routes that have already been plowed for the last two hours. So this gives us real-time data on what's being plowed and what needs to be done. I also want to remind everyone, and this is important, that our residents and especially our businesses that have parking lots, it is against county ordinance to put snow in the roads. It hinders our ability to properly plow the roads, it keeps the snow around for longer, and it creates unsafe conditions for our drivers. We will continue to monitor weather reports as they evolve throughout the day, and of course we will respond accordingly. Be on the lookout for downed trees, limbs, and power lines. If you see any of that, call PSE&G 1-800-490-0075. Our non-emergency hotline is 800-315-5153. Real emergencies, please call 911 as always. So as I said previously, our roads are treacherous, and if you can stay off the roads, please do. Earlier this morning, we were reminded of how important this is. Due to inclement weather, there was a fatal auto accident on the Wontaw Parkway. I want to thank Nassau County Police Officers Robert Bright, Jeremy Melnick, Ryan Mann, and Ben Sherlin, who were instrumental, and they were on the scene immediately, helping to respond and to reduce further possible harm. I'm now going to turn this over to the police commissioner for further details. Good afternoon. Approximately 10 o'clock this morning, a car was going southbound on the Wanto Parkway between the Southern State and Hempstead Turnpike. That vehicle lost control and went off to the side of the road where it rolled over, and a, one of the occupants of that vehicle was ejected from the vehicle. A second individual was pinned between the car and had partially ejected. Our public information officer, Lieutenant Lebrun, was the first on the scene where he called for assistance, and we had numerous response also with Channel 12 uh, also on scene helping out. The white van that overturned, the, there was a female that was partially ejected. She is in serious condition at Nassau County Medical Center. Two other minor injuries in the van, two other serious, and then the 51-year-old female was pronoun pronounced dead at uh, NUNC. The vehicle, the officers that responded came from the 1st Precinct, the 7th Emergency Service, and our police medics. One of the officers that you see behind me was out of the academy three weeks. He's a brand new rookie cop. You can see the energy running up to that scene to assist as Lieutenant Lebrun called for a forthwith response. He then broke into that window, that glass, to try to get the occupants out where he kicked that glass out himself. The occupants in the vehicle, it took a while to get out, but all along, the gasoline line had ruptured, and the there was gasoline being poured onto the offices and the scene. So their heroic actions, no doubt, saved uh, those additional occupants of that vehicle. Unfortunately, we were unable to save the, the one woman that lost her life. But again, it's important, it's imperative, as the county exec said, to stay off the roads. They're going to get slippery, they're going to get icy, 
And as the night progresses with more snow coming down, it's going to get more dangerous. So please, if you can, stay indoors. Um, our total so far, our aided numbers are about 34 as of about 1 o'clock today. They're mostly slip and falls. Our auto accidents are up to 62. Uh, again, that's a high number, but again, related, as you saw, the two trucks that collided on the LIE this morning. And our calls for service are up over 500 calls for service already today. So if you can, if it's important, you dial 911. If it's not, use the non-emergency number. I'll turn it back to the county exec. Thank you. Happy to take any questions. She, we don't know if she was the driver at this time. The investigation is being done by the state police. It's uh, the state police's uh, venue. Um, but at, at this time, we just know that she is 51-year-old Asian female. How many were in the car? Sorry. There were six females in the car. Commissioner, what, what leads you to believe that? The way we can see it, it obviously was, it was related to the snow and ice that was on the road, unsafe speed, lost it, went over the side, and then the vehicle rolled over. That officer's Officer Bright, Robert Bright, and again, he just graduated the academy three weeks ago. B-R-I-G-H-T. B-R-I-G-H-T, correct. From which precinct? He is from the first precinct. Laura, is this even more dangerous now that the fact that it may have just supposed to start snowing earlier today, now that you're almost at the rush hour, is this more dangerous for you, the fact that the snow has not begun already? I think so, and I think that people are looking out the window and seeing this is not as bad as we thought it was going to be. The fact, what we're hearing, the predictions are that it is going to be just as bad as we thought with up to a snow here in Nassau. So I don't want people to get the false idea that it is safe now because it's not. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Fire with me.